Hi, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day. Welcome to Hydrology Subject via MOOC UTHM. I'm Sabah Reh Binti Musa from Faculty of Civil Environmental Engineering UTHM. Now, we start topic 1 by a basic concept of hydrology. So, this topic is designed to assist the students to develop and enhance their ability and knowledge in main hydrological concepts such as hydrological cycle and water balance equation. The next, the learning outcome of this topic as shown in this video. The definition uh, of the hydrology is as shown in this video. Hydrology cycle is a continuous process in which water is evaporated from water surfaces and oceans, move inland as much as masses and produce precipitation and repeated. This cycle process is shown in this video. This process was uh, occurred continuously and repeated to balance the water distribution in the system. A portion of uh, the precipitation or rainfall is retained in the soil near where it falls and returns to the atmosphere via evaporates. The conversion of water to water vapor from water surface and transpirations, the losses of water vapor through plant tissues and leaves. The combined loss called evapotranspiration is a maximum value if the water supply in the soil is adequate at all time. Some water enters the soil system as infiltration, which is a function of soil moisture condition and soil types, and may re enter channels later as interflow or may percolate to recharge the shallow groundwater. Groundwater flows in porous media in the subsurface in either shallow or deeper aquifer system that can be pumped for water supply to agriculture and municipal water system. The remaining portion of precipitation become overland flow or direct runoff, which flows generally in down gradient direction to accumulate in local stream that then flow to rivers. For water balance equation, the simplest concept is the basic equation for water balance was because based on the changes of storage in the lakes or watersheds, as shown in this video. The application of hydrologic, hydrological data, data on hydrologic variable are fundamentals to analysis, forecasting, and modeling. Lastly, thank you for choosing this interactive learning. As a conclusion, we are at the beginning of the hydrology cycle. So, any information, let's join us for the next topics and stay tuned for this subject. Thank you.